right, this part tutorial is part two um, on using buttons to navigate in PowerPoint. So if you missed part one, go back and grab that. I'm just going to go through the process of adding a button one more time so that you can see again how it works. We're going to go to the insert menu, of course, because we want to put something into the presentation. We're going to go to shapes because a button is apparently a shape. We're coming down to the action buttons area and I'm going to choose that next button. Then just like a shape, I need to draw that out and it brings up the action settings dialog box. Now I've chosen a button that defaults to hyperlink to the next slide when I click on it. Now generally I'm going to leave this button the way it is because that's kind of intuitive. The arrow to the right would be a next button. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I can move this button around. I can also change it so it is a shape, right? So I can come up here to the drawing tools area, click on format. And if you're not seeing that, all you have to do is make sure you click on that once so it's got the selection handles around it. Come up to drawing tools, click on format. And then I can actually change the style of the button and the color of the button. Uh, I could even go so far as to put a picture or some texture in as the background of that button, make it look really, really cool. Okay, so we have a lot of options there. We also have a height area here, or a size area. And that's going to be important to us as we add additional buttons to the pages. We can come here and make them all the same size. All right, so coming back now to my presentation, I'm going to go ahead and insert shapes and I'll do a previous button and make that the same size about. Okay, this one defaults to previous slide. I'm going to leave that as is. And again, you could go in to drawing tools, format, change the style, change the fill, etc. Ooh, and I've got some weird stuff going on, but I don't care. There. All right, now uh, there are other types of buttons that we can use and there are also um, some great capabilities here. So I can take these previous and next buttons that I've put in here. I can shift and click so I select both of those and then I can copy those buttons. I just did a control C because I'm a mouse or a keyboard kind of girl. And I'm gonna paste those in to another slide and I'm gonna paste those into this slide. And notice, not only do they paste, but they paste in the exact same spot. So that, that enables me to have very consistent navigation. Now this is where you need to start thinking about the um, utility of your navigation. I'm on the last slide of my presentation here, slide three. Does it make sense for me to have a next button? No, it doesn't because that would take me to the end of my show. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that button off. So then they have to go back. Now another type of button we could use, if I go to insert again, go to shapes, I could choose the home button or the first slide button. So I'm gonna choose the home button. I just like the look of that jobby. And maybe I'll toss one of those up on the top corner. And then notice again, we could change what that's programmed to link to, okay? But I'm gonna click okay on that. And I could put a home button on the top right corner of every slide so that a student or a user who's going through this presentation could always get back home. Now the last type of button that I want to show you is the custom button. If I go into insert, I choose shapes, and I go to this last empty button, I can draw that out and notice there's no default on it. So I could choose for that button to go anywhere. It could end the show, it could go to any slide I want it to go to, it could go out to the internet, etc. So I'm gonna have this one take me to the home page or the first slide. I could have it play a sound, okay. And then I can also type right on it, okay. Now if I go into slideshow, from current slide and test this button, see it takes me right home. So those are some different types of buttons and navigation you can do in PowerPoint.